This is an odd one. Uh, cough the hammer. Um, I, he's supposed to be some sort of species, but I forget what the species is. Uh, cause, derp. Uh, but I don't think he's actually human in a sense of the word, cause he's like part rock. Uh, th th most of that shit off of him is like rock and lava, so it's like, like, not a golem, he's something else. Golems can't be planeswalkers cause they're magically constructed creatures, some bizarre bullshit rule. I, I don't know. Um, Anyway, Koth is... Koth the Hammer. It, it, it sounds like a wrestler's name. Koth Hammer! <laughs> but yeah, he's a pretty aggressive planeswalker. Uh, his plus one... Well, first of all, he's four mana, three... Well, yeah, he's average in cost and in loyalty again. Um, this is why, you know, I say the average is like three and four. The cost is average about three, four, or five. That, that's kind of why, you know, I always say that. Because it seems to be a freaking pattern here. Um, his plus one is untapped target mountain. It becomes a 4-4 red elemental creature until the end of turn. It is still a land. So you can use it to attack if you put it out a little while ago. Yeah, a weird thing with lands is that if you make it a creature and you had it out for like a turn or two, it doesn't have summoning sickness, which means you can actually use it immediately. But if you just put it out that turn, then one of them is going to be a little summoning sick. Um... So, it's one of those odd little things, and you get your mana back, because it's still a land. You can still tap it for mana. Um, is negative two? Is negative two is quite nice. Add one red mana to your mana pool for each mountain you control. So, in a sense, it kind of doubles your mana. Like, say you have three mountains. You add three red for each mountain. And if you tap the other three, you have six. Um, so you can already at least summon something. His negative five, his nuke. Um, by the way, I would not kill him off for the nuke. I would build him up a little bit, and it takes him like two turns to build up the nuke anyway, so. His nuke has, has this. You get the emblem with mountains you control half tap. This land deals one damage to target creature or player. I'm ambivalent toward this one because now your lands can do one of two things. Either they can damage someone or they can give you mana. You can't do one or you can't do both. You have to do one or the other. That's why I'm ambivalent toward it cuz I mean, you could do it, use cost ability and get the mana back. That's why I'm saying don't kill him off for it because then you have a way of mitigating it using the exact planeswalker that gave you the ability, which is kind of nice. Um, so, but still, that can get pretty bad if you have a lot of mana. Like, you can tap it all and really hurt someone. Or kill off a big-ass fucking creature, and it's colorless damage, so... It's not even artifact damage, so literally nothing has protection from it. And that can get bad. So, unless it has Shroud or Hexproof, you're kinda in trouble. And, of course, if they can't target anything on your field, they could probably target you. There's one card. No, uh, is it one or is it two? Well, there's at least one card, maybe two cards, but there aren't many cards that give you hexproof. I know one is the Leyline of Sanctity. I have to double-check which is Orb, though. Um, but Leyline of Sanctity technically gives you hexproof. Um, if you don't know, Shroud and Hexproof mean no they can't be targeted. The difference is, is Shroud means nothing can target it, not even yourself. Hexproof means you can still target the thing, but no one else can. So Hexproof is kind of an improved version of Shroud, and a lot of people prefer it. Understandable. So, just so you know. But, yeah. Cough is a pretty good Planeswalker looking at him. Uh, he's not my favorite, but I can see a use for him that he mitigates himself, which is actually rather nice. Um, you don't really see that with a Planeswalker, but, you know, I really didn't notice him at the time because he came out in the same set as uh, the second Elspeth, and I was kind of drooling over her. Uh, yeah. That's just me, though. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!